Hello, another video from Blue Arc IT. Uh, in this video we're going to cover the installation of Softint on the workstation. Uh, so first thing we want to do is go ahead and map our drive. I don't have one currently, so I'm going to type in here backslash backslash and then server, or the name of whatever your server may be, and there's our share. So I'm going to right click, say map network drive, choose a drive letter. In this case I'm going to choose P, and then I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. Alright, so now in my map drive I have my Softent folder, it's on my server. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And the installation is in the W setup folder. Okay, and here we go, and we're going to run the W setup. And go ahead and say run. And it's pretty much sit back and wait a couple things going back to the uh, softent install folder um, I'm going to say next here real quick and hit next again for the default path that's fine and then next get back to what I was saying the, uh, the, the install folder sometimes you'll see a bunch of different installers in there uh, those will show up in there if you've done web updates it'll actually download the individual installer that takes you from version A to version B and so on and so on and after you finish and you open up Softent the first time, it will ask to do that particular update and then it'll do it again and again and again. Uh, those will clear it out if you do an update with a CD. So sometimes if you're installing a workstation, it takes a very long time because you've got so many web updates. It's nice to request a CD uh, for your next update because it'll clean all that out and then you kind of start anew. Uh, and from there on, any web update you'll do will start downloading in that folder. So it's doing another prerequisite here. say run if there's any kind of pop-up. It kind of depends if you're using a workgroup domain, Windows 7. Sometimes you won't see any kind of pop-ups like that that say run. Uh, it's kind of a Windows security thing. So we're going to go ahead and hit finish. And like I said, uh, they would show up right here. Any other installers, you'd see version 10 to 10.5, 10, you know, whatever it may say. Uh, we'll go ahead and close this and open up Softent. and I'm going to use the default login. I have just a blank data set up here so I'm going to do doctor and then doctor and um, normally you would see the little splash screen and then you would see uh, practice central but I am running this in a virtual machine so it does run a little slower Okay, so we have our activation. So normally you would have done this on the server. I'm going to say no for seven days because I'm just using blank data. And again, this is kind of initial setup stuff. I'm canceling through that because this is not a real functioning practice here. Uh, one thing to show you about the gold key, if you ever get the license PWSVR can't be contacted, you can do from a command prompt uh, the pwclient.exe or in the search box here for 7. Open that up. Um, what it's meaning is that it can't talk to the gold key on the server. Uh, in this case we don't have the problem. You can see every computer that's connected. In this case it's happy user PC is this machine. Uh, but if you didn't, you would come in here and you would see actually that where it says server slash uh, data dentrix or softent, you would see all this actually blanked out. There would be nothing there and these values would be set to zero. Uh, so it would look more like this right here. Yeah, it would be zero. And that would be zero. Oops. And basically you would keep, you couldn't open up softent every time. Uh, that'll happen if you're in a work group and you're in a different work group than your server. You're in a work group and your server's in the domain. 
Uh, I believe it's something to do with kind of a broadcast is must help find the server so it won't find it automatically. So you can browse out like I'm doing here or if you know the path you can type it in. It's all the way out to the soft end folder and it is the PWSVR. It's actually the f if you had like KDI and you installed KDI first for whatever the reason it would be in the, the TW folder or if you for some reason had practice works and soft end I don't know why you would do that whatever one gets installed first manages the key so and that is the end of the video here uh, thanks for watching